Hey there everyone, it's uh, Rob from uh, Archie and Me. So, um, been back at work and had a couple of days off, so been working back on the van. So literally, um, I'm going to stop doing the, the how-to videos. I'm just going to do updates uh, of my conversion and all that sort of stuff, just because um, work gets in the way a lot. I work nights, so um, the days I do get off, I'm still pretty tired and grumpy. So I'm just going to do updates. So literally this is my second update of what I've done so far. So as you can see uh, from the back of the van, we're pretty much uh, insulation in. Um, most of it's done. We just need to finish off uh, batting in a few things. Uh, I put a few panels in of the uh, ceiling insulation. So this is all 25mm Celotex and I'll leave the links in the video down below. Um, so we've nearly done on the insulation. Floors in, sides are in. Bit of the wiring's in and we're almost good to go on the electric side of life so other things that we've done um, i'll show you right now so maybe just move this so we took out the uh double passenger seat put fitted a single passenger seat so that's in now um, Obviously the van's full of building materials and Celotex, so we've just literally been insulating the ceiling around the roof vent. Um, wooden battens are in for fixing the cladding on the uh, supports. Um, recycled bottle insulation. Behind it is obviously 25mm Celotex. 25mm Celotex here, which will have a bit more insulation put on top of it and battens down the side um, to fit in from there. We've literally wired through the solar panel which i'll show you in a minute that comes down to the back and then we've all we've got to do then is fit the electric hookup onto the back as well so we vaporized the doors and the insulation on the passenger side of the van is all done as well so battened in we just got to finish insulating the ceiling so that's pretty much where we are at this moment and i'm back to work tonight so i'll show you outside what else we've done to the van um, and we'll go from there. As we fitted like a front grill protector and a, a sun visor, pretty straightforward to do. Sorry about noise, so that actually makes it a lot better when driving to get a bit of sun protection. So that's on as well, and you'll know, see this. Protection. We've got new alloys arriving today, and on the back of the van, <laughs> so we've pretty much fitted a 325 watt solar panel uh, to the roof. So, all we've got to do it was a bit tricky because obviously the feet didn't match the ridges on the van and all that sort of stuff so I have had to use a lot of silk fix and some self taping screws to secure it uh, which worked out fine so that'll be sealed and the screws have come through the roof which has enabled me to help with securing the um, insulation to the inside So that's pretty much where I'm at with my conversion at the moment. Um, I'm going to finish off today getting some more of the vapor barrier done. Um, I've run out, I need to get some more of the um, recycled insulation. And once this is tucked and secured, then I can put, fit the battens on the side. So my, my plan now is, you know, obviously a bit of expenses um, I've used up on my conversion with the accident I had on the fuse box. So I'm going to plywood the sides. Um, excuse me. I'm going to plywood the sides up to about here, and then from there I'm going to clad the ceiling. Uh, that'll be clad, and then plywood down. So not just paint the plywood. The back of the doors, we just have plywood sheets on the back. Um, I'm going to carpet line this area to the door, around the door edges. So when you put the actual plywood sheets on, it looks and there's less metal contact all that sort of stuff again with the door side doors um, I'm going to carpet line down to a certain point there'll be obviously the vapor barrier carpet line to the windows from the window down 
and then a plywood sheet fitted back onto the door which will probably be carpet lined and again behind here just a piece of plywood because obviously the kitchen units are going to be done uh, my plan is obviously because I, I got a visit from Tabitha and Liam yesterday uh, I had a visit from Tabitha and Liam yesterday so it was amazing they helped me with these solar panels so thank you so much to Tabitha and Liam and Rocky for giving me a hand yesterday which is amazing couldn't have done it without you and um, so once all that's done we can start the wiring in which I'm scared of um, I'm not scared of just I'm unsure of so I'm gonna have to take my time on that I'm not gonna do a how to do it video because in case I blow myself up um, and we'll go from there and next year I'm just gonna fit a bed as long as it's clad it's warm like in October having the LPG heating system fitted as long as it's warm and insulated and got a bed and a little kitchen area I'm not really bothered at the moment if I don't have running water as long as I have a sink and I have a little camping stove to cook some stuff on I'm, I'll, I'll be happy and then once I've earned some more money later on in the year I'll look to buy an oven stuck cooker system um, I'll get the fridge before I go and that's pretty it so it's gonna be basic it's not gonna be you know the world's best van uh, look at my van and this that and the other it'll just be comfortable for me and the dog to be able to get out and travel and that's all I want from what I'm doing at the moment so this is update number two thanks for watching uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that sort of stuff and we'll see you on the next update uh, probably in a week's time or something like that when we've got a few more things done but see you later stay safe take care don't forget to like subscribe leave us a comment share the love bye, -bye.